I mean, my reaction to this was the one that I woke up yesterday with when I first discovered it, was uh, something sort of coming down your spine, something very nasty, something very cold and something very um, unhealthy over this whole incident. But you've been a journalist for a, a few years now and you will know that editors put a lot of pressure on their reporters to get the story. They may well do that, Stuart, in certain parts of Fleet Street. We put lots of pressure on our young journalists to get these sorts of stories. But I think people have forgotten that a journalist is simply a member of the public who goes in and asks questions within a framework of a civilised society and within the law. What we do is no different to what any member of the public is entitled to do, is to answer questions. We simply get paid to answer them, ask them on their behalf. And the idea that um, a line was breached on this particular instance over many, many years uh, uh, it's just absolutely uh, staggering beyond belief. And now to bring it so closely home, I think we almost tolerated it a little bit when it was to do with celebrities, although that was bad enough. But, you know, to bring it back home to Cambridgeshire and the way that it's now being brought home to via this is absolutely repugnant to me, repugnant to all of the journalists that I know. And what does deeply worry me is at the level at which this was authorised in, in Fleet Street. I mean, editors today, Stuart, even on small papers like mine, we are managers. We manage budgets. We manage people. We manage our resources. Somebody was managing a lot of resource to set up a, an operation like this over many, many years, and I think what happened in Fleet Street, we call it Fleet Street, which is where young journalists like myself at one stage wanted to work. Many young journalists I trained did go off there to work. There must have been journalists who knew what was going on, who sat down in newspaper officers and just took either Murdoch's money or whoever's money it was and did nothing. Evil triumphing while good men did nothing. And that's what's going to be, I think, come out of this more and more as the scandal unfolds.